Number 10. The Endurance Scientists have discovered one of the largest shipwrecks in history 107 years after it went down. The Endurance, a lost vessel run by the Antarctic explorer Sir Ernest Shackleton, was found at the bottom of the Weddell Sea. In 1915, the ship smashed into sea ice and sank, forcing Shackleton and his men to make an incredible escape on foot and in tiny boats. Even after resting under 10,000 feet of water for almost a century, the ship still looks the same as the day it went down. The timbers are still intact, and the name Endurance is clearly visible on the stern. The Falkland Maritime Heritage Trust FMHT, spearheaded the search for the missing ship. They employed a South African icebreaker called the Agulas II, outfitted with remote-controlled submersibles. The instant these cameras landed on the ship, the mission's leader called it jaw-dropping. Finding the wreck is a great feat, he continued. We successfully completed the world's most difficult shipwreck search. Despite continually shifting sea ice, blizzards, and temperatures as low as negative 18 degrees Celsius, we have accomplished what many thought was impossible. It truly is an incredible find. Number 9. A Hidden World in Antarctica Antarctica is often thought of as the coldest, driest, and iciest place on the planet. But life finds a way. While global warming may be accelerating the loss of polar ice caps, there is cause for celebration in the Arctic. Recently, researchers uncovered a mysterious world underneath the frozen continent. The secret planet was discovered 1,640 feet beneath the ice in Antarctica. After cutting a hole through the ice, investigators inserted a camera. They saw many hazy, small specks flashing in front of the television stream at the bottom. But the specks weren't caused by malfunctioning equipment. Instead, they found swarms of small amphipods moving in front of the camera's lens. Experts were shocked since they didn't expect to find any form of life that deep beneath the surface. The existence of this secret world, according to the experts, is undeniable proof of ecology at work. They said they were jumping up and down with the light when they made the discovery. It is one of the polar caps which, altogether, produce 80% of the world's fresh water and 90% of its ice. As a result, this discovery has a significant impact on our Earth and scientists are working to understand it more. It was found in Antarctica's Ross Ice Shelf. It is the biggest ice shelf in the world and has been subject to several scientific efforts throughout the years. According to the scientists, they happen to come across a structure that shelters a complete ecosystem of amphipods. The scientists sought to gain a better understanding of the many climactic scenarios that may affect the Ross Sea. But instead, they unlocked an undiscovered world and ecosystem. It's a fantastic accomplishment that hopefully will continue to shed light on this frigid and strange part of the planet. Number 8. Tunic in Norwegian Highlands An Iron Age tunic was found beneath melting snow in the Norwegian Highlands. Other discoveries in the area include Neolithic arrows and bow parts thought to be 6,000 years old. Because of climate change, snow in the Norwegian Highlands and other locations is fast melting revealing a world of well-preserved new discoveries. The artifact was made between 230 and 390 AD and is among few tunics from this time period that have survived. There were two distinct linens available, and the fiber tips proved they were made out of wool. The Lenbreen tunic is a first look at the type of thick clothing used by hunters that once traveled to Scandinavia's ice regions looking for reindeer. It lacked buttons and fastenings and was simply pulled over the head like a sweater. The arrows and bow parts were considerably older, and they were discovered in snow patches, which are natural areas of snow that form when snow melts in the sun. These are one-of-a-kind finds that indicate something is shifting over there. People are locating ancient artifacts in a variety of locations when the snow patches melt, and they are usually fairly well preserved. The Neolithic arrows were shorter than earlier Mesolithic shafts found in Europe, probably due to the hefty weight of their slate points. These artifacts were remarkably well kept for their age and fragility, but as the snow melts faster and weather changes, other artifacts could degrade before being discovered. The number and age of some of these relics is unparalleled in the region's almost century-long history of snowpatch surveys, and as the climate continues to warm and snow melts, 
It's a wonder what the long-term cost will be for these looks into the frozen past. Number 7. Lava Lake A massive lake of scorching hot lava was found in a volcano on a distant Antarctic island in the South Atlantic Ocean. It is the fourth molten rock lake known to be on Earth. This unique lava lake was found by scientists from University College London UCL, and the British Antarctic Survey BAS, on Saunders Island in the South Sandwich Islands, nearly 1,000 miles north of Antarctica's Weddell Sea. By taking a look at satellite images of the abandoned island taken between 2003 and 2018, the researchers saw that the snow-covered volcano of Mount Michael on which is generally obscured by heavy clouds, has a lava lake within its crater between 300 and 700 feet in diameter. While lava lakes are frequently linked with volcanoes, only seven have been discovered. Because Mount Michael is so inaccessible, very few researchers have ever visited. It has only been visited from the bottom on rare occasions, and no one has ever reached the mount's peak. Have you ever been to a volcano? Tell us about it in the comments below and hit subscribe while you're at it. Number 6. Frozen Worms For the first time since the Pleistocene Epoch, two ancient worms have started moving and feeding regularly. The round worms were discovered frozen in the Siberian tundra. They were later defrosted and revived in petri dishes. These time-traveling animals are only one illustration of the power of scientific cryoconservation, which is the act of freezing biological materials like organs, tissue, and more to preserve them. The worms were first kept at negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit in a laboratory. Then, they were defrosted over a period of weeks in a pleasant 68 degrees Fahrenheit climate. The nematodes soon resumed regular movement and feeding. These two worms are now the world's oldest living organisms. Originally, both of them were thought to be female, but one of them was discovered as a triploid, which means it has three sets of chromosomes and reproduces through parthenogenesis, monosexual reproduction. Some new sites, though, are doubtful of the worm's ancient ties, citing scientists that suspect they were introduced to the permafrost samples through laboratory contamination. Number 5. Jarosite Deep beneath an Antarctic ice core, scientists uncovered a Martian mineral. It's a yellow-brown mineral called jarosite. It's made when dust gets trapped beneath layers of ice. So far, it's been found on both Earth and Mars. Jarosite also demonstrates how essential glaciers were on Mars. They shaped valleys and also helped form the materials Mars is made of, according to researchers. In 2004, the NASA Opportunity rover rolled across layers of fine-grained jarosite on Mars for the first time. The discovery generated news since jarosite requires water, iron, sulfate, potassium, and acidic conditions to be made. These parameters are difficult to meet on Mars, so scientists wondered how the mineral became so prevalent on the planet. Others speculated that it was left behind by the evaporation of small volumes of salty acidic water. But the alkaline basalt rocks in Mars's crust would have neutralized acidic liquid, according to Giovanni Bacolo, a geologist at the University of Milan Bicocca and the study's primary author. Another theory said jarosite could have formed in massive ice layers that covered the Earth billions of years ago. Dust would have collected within ice sheets over time, possibly transforming into jarosite within the watery spaces between ice crystals. But the procedure has never been seen in our solar system. Jarosite can be found on Earth in mounds of mining waste that have been exposed to the air and rain, but it isn't common. It was never expected to be seen in Antarctica, and Bacalo wasn't looking for it, but he was looking for minerals that signal ice age cycles beneath layers of a 5,316 foot long ice core, which records thousands of years of Earth's history. Deep under the core's ice, he discovered the peculiar dust particles that he suspected were jarosite. Bacalo and his colleagues analyzed how the material absorbed x-rays to confirm it was the mineral. They also analyzed the grains under extreme electron microscopes, which cemented his belief. Number 4. Island in Greenland Scientists located a new island off the coast of Greenland that they claim is the world's northernmost piece of land that was uncovered by a moving ice pack. 
The scientists first believed they had landed at Udak, an island discovered in 1978 by a Danish survey expedition. When they checked the exact position, they realized they were on another island, 2,559 feet to the northwest. This tiny island, which measures only 100 feet wide and has a height of about 9 feet, is made up of seabed mud and moraine, which is soil and rock left behind by glaciers. The crew suggested naming it Kekertak Avanerlek, which means the northernmost island in Greenlandic. Several US missions have looked for the world's northernmost island in the past few decades. Dennis Schmidt, an Arctic veteran, discovered a similar island close by in 2007. Although the new discovery was revealed by moving pack ice, the scientists claim its existence is not a direct result of global warming, which has been slowly decreasing Greenland's ice sheet. According to René Forsberg, a notable professor and director of geodynamics at Denmark's National Space Institute, the region north of Greenland features some of the thickest polar sea ice in the world. But he noted it was currently 6 to 9 feet thick in summer, down from 4 meters when he first visited as part of an expedition that found Udak in 1978. Any possibility of expanding territorial claims in the Arctic depends on whether the disappearing feature is an island or a bank. At high tide, an island must remain above sea level to keep its designation. Number 3. Plants Under Ice An ice sheet that covers our planet's northernmost region has expanded and receded over the last 2 million years. But Greenland's severe cold and miles deep ice were supposed to basically be continuous. But new evidence suggests that it's considerably warmer and greener than we thought. What it took to melt the ice and cover it with plants in the past might now be crucial in projecting how the Arctic will respond to future climate change, a long-lost core of soil dug up from beneath mile-thick ice in northern Greenland in the 1960s, revealed that it used to be home to a vegetated landscape one million years ago, or possibly as recently as 400,000 years ago. Scientists thought they'd find sand and rock in the earth, but instead discovered twigs and leaves. They found frozen plant components, twigs, leaves, and moss that are comparable to the Arctic tundra seen in Greenland's rare ice-free zones today. The main distinction between the past and present is that the mile of ice which formerly covered this portion of Greenland must have melted. This incredible discovery adds to the growing amount of evidence indicating the Greenland ice sheet melted during a previous warm phase in Earth's history, similar to the one we are currently in, which is accelerating thanks to human-caused global warming. Over the last million years, Earth's climate has been broken by short warm periods that last about 10,000 years, known as interglacials. During this period, there is less ice at the poles and the sea levels rise. One of those interglacials, about 1 million to 400,000 years ago, is thought to be the last time this area of Greenland melted and tundra was able to form on the terrain. Number 2. Woolly Rhino Locals in eastern Siberia found the wonderfully preserved carcass of an Ice Age era woolly rhino. The creature was discovered by thawing permafrost in Yakutia's Abyski area in northeastern Russia. It is one of the best preserved animals in the region. Most of its internal organs are still intact. The rhino is believed to have existed between 20,000 and 50,000 years ago during the late Pleistocene epoch. According to a specialist, the rhino was between 3 and 4 years old when it died most likely from drowning. Much of its soft tissue, including parts of the intestines, was still visible. Also, a small nasal horn had also been preserved, which is unusual since these parts typically decompose fast. The horn had signs of wear, indicating the rhino actively used it for food. A local discovered the rhino on the bank of the Terechtiak River in August 2020, near an area where another baby woolly rhino was found in 2014. Sasha, the name given to the rhino by researchers was believed to be 34,000 years old. In recent years, large discoveries of bones of mammoths, woolly rhinos, bulls, pups, and cave lion cubs have been made in sections of Siberia. In September 2020, researchers announced that they found a well-preserved Ice Age bear corpse in the Lyakovsky Islands in northeastern Russia. This type of discovery is becoming increasingly common as global warming melts permafrost across large portions of Russia. Number 1. Ice Dragon A fascinating small dragon lives among the ice of South America's Andes Mountains. 
The Patagonian ice dragon is a glacier-dwelling bug that's only half an inch long. Although the southern Patagonian ice field is an incredible source of fresh water, the rivers of ice are a challenging place to live. The Dragon de la Patagonia, a sort of stone fly, has evolved to live in this unforgiving environment. Scientists classify the dragon as an extremophile, or a creature that can survive in harsh ecosystems. This stone fly is the only genuine insect that lives in Patagonia's ice fields. There are two known ice dragon species, Andiperla moranensis and Andiperla willinki, although there could be more. That is all scientists know, according to biologist Isa Matters, since everything else is based on theories. Matters expects many questions about the ice dragon will be answered in upcoming years. He wants to learn how these insects chose glaciers over water as their habitat, and then evolved to such a unique existence. He and his colleagues are hard at work investigating the species' inner workings, like how it lives in the ice field and what it consumes. The ice dragon's blood may have glycerol in it, an organic antifreeze, but the levels and whether it stops the insect's blood from freezing aren't known. Further studies may reveal the truth. Ice dragons could feed on microscopic algae found on the ice. They may also eat other insects from surrounding valleys that are carried over by wind and die on the glaciers. Ice dragons have been observed feeding on cryosinite, a fine powder on the ice composed of microorganisms and other tiny particles. Thanks for watching. Which of these discoveries did you find the most interesting? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe to see more cool videos. See you soon. Bye.